Yo, what's up everyone? Kiros here, and we have another Tower of Fantasy video. Now, this one is to get you uh, prepared for 2.3, and we're going to talk specifically about the new exploration mechanics, and one of them is insanely hard to do. It's not insanely hard to do, but it's very convoluted to do, and it's going to take you a long time and drain some of your materials. So we're going to go over how you get some of these new um, aspects, some of these new icons that you're looking at, and we're just going to talk in general uh, about the new area that looks like a... Uh... Well, it looks like a giant... Johnson! Mm. So, uh, we'll do a patch preview on a different video. This one's just going to be dedicated, and I'll probably break it up into little mini shorts as well. But if you guys can, hit that like and subscribe. All right, let's start with one of the new mechanics of the new area. Now, a uh, mechanic that's actually very annoying to deal with, and once again, I do apologize for this being in Chinese, but I will kind of walk you through it. You're going to see that you you have this uh, new uh, collectible you can get. You can see the little plant over there. As I get closer, you'll see that there is poison that essentially starts spreading. Now, that's a stacking debuff in the bottom uh, on your bar down here. And the more you take, the more damage you're going to take. And it starts stacking up pretty quickly and does a lot of damage. Now, there's a way to get by this, and it's very convoluted. But you only have to do it once or, you know, depending on how many there are. You're going to see these little trees here. Now, one, this is a little mini mechanic. You're going to want to hit it as that thing gets close to this marker right here. You're going to hit it again. And then hit it three times. Get that lined up. And then it's going to become a green tree. Now, you're going to get a little uh, material from that, but it's also going to give you a buff if you click on it. You can see this buff right here. Lasts for a little bit of time. So you got to move very, very quickly when you have this buff. And it's going to allow you to essentially sit in the poison for roughly about 30 seconds. Now, we're not going to be able to collect this because we need another collectible for this. But what we do need is we do need these little plant-like structures, these seeds. All right, cool. So now we're at this area right here. and We're going to be looking for an egg-like structure that we see right over here. Here is one of the things that you need to be able to do. All right, so in our inventory, we're going to have these new seeds that we just picked up from those plant-like structures in the poison. Now, once you find one of these eggs, you're essentially going to go through and interact with... Um... Okay, so just to let you guys know, there's a spot for all four types of crystals, as we just talked about. Now, you can put in any style. You can put three of three different types. You can put three of the same type in. And it's going to spawn a different boss. Now, it doesn't matter what boss you spawn to get the, the, the fertilized core that we need. But what it does matter is that there is an achievement to take down all nine of the different bosses. So you do want to keep track if you want to use like three fire. And then the next one you do two fire, one snow, or you do three different types. You want to keep track of that. And uh, if I find out that chart, I'll post that in a later video. All right, so here we go. We're pointing in. And I highly suggest you bring a friend where you put one of each core in. So I did a snow. I did a thunder. And I will do a earth. And that'll spawn a boss. Go ahead, hit enter to use the core. And there we go. Now you can see that the egg did respawn. And if we go into our inventory here, we did get the new fertilized seed. So I'll show you, show you how to use that. And that's how essentially you do that mechanic. I'll see you on the other side. All right. Now that we are back here, we want to make sure that we grab that buff from uh, that tree again. We're going to make our way over to where that poison was and where to this uh, this uh, thing that looks like a... Um... Hey, what's that? It looks like a big... Woody! Yikes. 
So we're going to go ahead and put that lysing core in there that we got from the previous boss. And there we go. Now it's no longer spitting poison, which is really nice. But you can see that we do have a bunch of other ones to get. So um, this is going to be a very long-winded process. It's uh, There's a decent amount of them around the map. So, But now you know how to clear it. And uh, let's go take a look at some of the other mechanics. All right, next up on the list, we do have uh, one that you're very familiar with if you've played any of Vera. It's the, the line up the pictures. Now, it does seem like they did make this easier in 2.3. But once again, you're going to find these three little plants that you want to sit kind of in the middle of. And then line up your camera and then bam look at how quick that was i think they heard the feedback from uh players in 2.3 or 2.0 and they fixed those over time all right next up on the list we do have simon says now this one is pretty straightforward if you've got a pretty good memory wow that's really that man they made that really quick so you're gonna hit it one two you might have to do it multiple times so we know this one's one and that one's two one two three four five i think we got it so let's go ahead and hit those in order one two three i think i got it four and five bam and there you guys go now that was a lot faster than i think it used to be um so you're just got to be really good at your memory game right there all right and luckily for us a lot of these mini games are together so the next one here are the mushrooms. Now this one's really straightforward. You can just pick a color and you just want to line up the colors. So we're going to go ahead and pick yellow. And what you're going to do is you're going to jump on those mushrooms until you turn it to yellow. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Probably the, the easiest of all of them. Like you can't get any easier than that. Ah, uh, yes. And that brings us to the brand new follow the orb. Now this one... <laughs> These ones are kind of a pain because they just take forever, but these are going to be orbs that you can hit. And essentially they're just going to lead you onto a journey. They go so incredibly slow. It's not even funny, but essentially they should drop anywhere between three to five different items. As you progress through it, we're just going to go ahead and follow along. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, in, input. We music sounds please don't aggro me i did not mean to make you angry i'm so sorry so there we go we got one item there now that one was only one item actually funny enough so that one was pretty straightforward well that's all i've got hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys can once again hit that like and subscribe i will see you on the next video i'm excited about 2.3 come join the live streams and i will see you on the next one, fist bump from me to you.